Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and today I want to show you guys how I make a paper bag envelope pouch. I had a request of a customer come on my Etsy shop and ask me if I can make her four of these, and I, I love the idea that she came up with, and uh, I was like, I don't know why I didn't think of that, but it's a great little pouch that you just open up. Yep, open it up like this. And then you could put all your ephemera and your pretty papers and all kinds of stuff just shoved in there, you know? Just little things that you could just sit there and organize. And I even have a little description thing that I'm gonna put on the front of each one of them. And yeah, so you can have all kinds of stuff. And she wants to set them up on her desk and have them uh, so that she could put her stuff in them. And I thought that was a great idea. So if you could, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. All right, so let's just close this baby up like that. So I just think it's so fun. And I just did manila envelope uh, that av avocado dyed and summer onion dyed, but I, I think I'm using the avocado dyed ones. And yeah, I mean, it just is so cool. It's fun to me. Okay. So now what you're gonna need is pretty much a standard grocery size bag. Cause these measure, and I just measure them. There we go. Let's see. By the time they're said and done here, we're at seven inches wide by six inches tall. So, I mean, that's a, that's a nice size, you know, to have just out on your desk and stuff and uh, you can write what's in it and have it all organized. So let's just see. I know I'm kind of in the middle of it here. So I got a mess happening. I even have glue and paint on my hands. We're going to do a little painting today. So that'll be fun. Okay. So I want to make sure you guys can see this, what I'm doing here. So we're pretty much just using the bottom of the bag. So you're going to want to open it up. You guys can see here. You can just open it up and then see the V shape here that you got, and then the line, all the folds. The easiest way I figured to do this is push right here with your finger on the inside, pinch it, just grab that uh, fold right there. Okay, so you have the fold. And then you're just going to pull. Just pull it. And then all the folds will go where you want them to. So just pull it. And then we'll go to the other side. Just like that. I know I'm trying to get it in there. I need to get it in there for you guys. Okay. And I just push my finger on the inside here. And pinch the fold. This is the trickiest part of all of it. But once you get it, it's not too bad. So you just grab this fold, it's right here. And then you just grab the other side over here and this one, and then pull. Just like that. And what it wants to do is it'll want to go like this. Like that. So that's the best way I can explain it, is you just kind of just get this crease, and then when you pull it on both sides, it's just gonna fold down like that. And that's what we want. We want that part. So, just make sure you get all the pieces you want here. You want the, there we go. You want it to be on the fold here, no creases. Okay, and then the best way to do it here that I've figured out is make sure you guys can see. I'm just taking a pencil and I'm kind of just following this outline here. There we go. And then take your scissors and we're just going to cut. See the line that you made? We're just going to cut right along that. trying to stay in camera here. 
Once I get this whole bag, it's just it's so big and bulky right now. But. Okay, so you just kind of follow your line that you made. I mean, these just turn out so fun. I've done things similar like this. I did a little booklet and uh, yeah, I never thought of just like a closed actual envelope with these, with, with it like this. I don't know why. It's just one of those things. You're like, ah, and the light bulb goes off. It's like, great, that's a great idea. So I'm gonna get these done for her and uh, let her get ordered and stuff. And then I will definitely have these in my shop. And um, I will put them in my shop and I'll put the link down below, but it might take me a day or so to do that. So, all right, so we, this is as far as we got. And then you just kind of trim it up here. Just get it how you get it, okay? So that's what we did, is we just pretty much Took the bag, folded it like that, and then just did a cut around. Okay? So far, so good. Not too bad. And then, this is what we're doing. I took, instead of sitting there inking, I love to ink around the edges and do all that, but it takes so much ink. I just went ahead and just painted, and it works great. I love it. I mean, that's what I did on this one. And I think it looks great. It kind of just gives it a border all the way around it. And that's just... Uh, just the basic, uh, basics acrylic, just brown. Burnt umber is what I used. So, I mean, I, th I think it looks great and it's way better. I don't have to waste all my ink and all my time just trying to get it inked on. I just went ahead and painted them, got them prepped. And they really don't take too long to dry. Okay, so this is pretty much the, this is this. So we got this. I'm gonna move it to the side because I already got it painted. So what we're gonna do is the very bottom of the bag, as you can see, I went through and just made sure, uh, and we're gonna put manila envelope on top, but I did, I did a little gluing just in some of the seams, uh, just because when you do, and I just take my art glitter glue, uh, because when this is, you know, like when you're, have your manila envelope glued on there, I just don't want any of it just to kind of flap around, I don't know. I don't know, I think it's just me. But I'm just doing a little just glue, just to kind of secure it so it's not all flappy. So just go through, I mean like this one's glued, so I don't really have to worry about that one. And then that one's glued. So those were just kind of loose and flappy, so I just kind of glue them down, check all my seams and stuff. And so what I did is I went ahead and just painted so this is the, gonna be the outside. It's gonna go like this, right? So that's gonna be the whole outside of it all. So I took the bottom of the bag, it's gonna be the outside, because I wanted to hide all this stuff, you know? And I just went ahead and just painted all around the edges, just like you would inking. And then this is gonna be the inside part. Once we do it, you guys, it's really easy. I'm making it confusing right now, but you just fold it like that, and here's your flap. That's the outside flap. And then I just made sure to ink all around or paint all around it, paint on the inside here. And then this flap, I painted the whole thing because when you, and then I'm just gonna glue it on the inside here. And then I'm gonna show you guys how I sewed and stuff too. But so in here, as you open it, I wanted to be able to, cause it's gonna be pretty closed up. So when you open it, you can see the paint on the inside and stuff. And then you can see some of the bag. That's that's the fun part of it. You will be able to see the writing. But this is a grocery bag. And I, you know, I don't claim for it not to be. Uh, uh, it is a paper bag envelope. And you could see some of the, uh, just the, you know, the stamping and the writing that they have. So I think that's kind of fun. I think that gives it just a little more character to it. Okay. So go ahead and take the bottom of your bag like this. And then just make sure to paint, if you want, you don't have to paint. You don't have to paint any of it if you don't want to. But what I did is painted the flap all the way, the one that's going on the inside, and then just all the way around the edges and in between here too, okay? And then this is gonna be the inside here where 
I'm putting the manila envelope. So the manila envelope. So I just wanted to make sure to get some inking or some painting. I keep calling it inking, painting around it. And then, yeah, so it just gives it something. But like I said, you don't have to paint or ink or any of it, you know. You can just leave it as is and have yourself a cool little bag. So, okay, that's the first step is we cut the bag. And then we're taking pretty much most of the wording because that's the reason I did it too is because a lot of wording's right here and I folded it on the inside, okay? And then we're gonna take it and take one flap and fold it on the inside. This is after your paint dries and stuff. Uh, and then we painted everything and then we're gonna cut the manila envelope to size. So we have it all like this. I'm gonna take my manila envelopes here. And I, like I said, I have them all tea or avocado dyed. And I'm keeping them folded together because that just makes it so I can just do one cut because it's gonna go on the front and it's gonna go on the back. So it's just, you know, makes it easier on me. So what I'm doing here, make sure you guys can see, is I'm pretty much, I think I'm wiggling the camera. Hold on, I'm gonna move you guys for just a second. There we go. My stand, sorry about that. My stand was leaning on the table. So every time I bump my belly on it or whatever, it would just wiggle. Jeez. Okay, enough of that. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make sure, let me go like this so we can see it here. So, here, hold on, let's do this. Yeah, because I want it smaller. Okay. No, I think I did this, I really did, I did this. I don't know, I just made it, you know, you think I'd remember. Okay, so what I'm doing is making, I'm gonna overlap on each side here. I'm just gonna kind of push it out and you can see that I'm overlapped and overlapped here, which is fine because it'll then it'll fit in the middle there. And there's no precise measurements to any of this. It's just what you prefer and what looks good to you. And then I'm just gonna take my pencil. And then we can always cut it smaller to size, you know. I kind of just wing it and see what happens. Okay, and then I'm just gonna cut it out. And then we're gonna use this stuff too. Okay. And then I'm just opening it up. middle here. So I hope you guys are having a crafty day today and getting out your grocery bags and finding a good use for them. Jeez, I just have them shoved in a drawer going, I'm going to do something with these and ta-da! It's a pretty good idea. Okay. And then like I said, we'll just kind of I forgot to paint down here. I'm supposed to paint in the middle. Did I do that to the other one? Hold on just a second. Okay, and here, I'll show you guys real quick. I forgot to paint this crease right here because that's gonna be at the bottom. So I'll show you guys. I use a sponge or you can use whatever, but I just kind of like the idea of the sponge brush because it's kind of, reminds me of just inking it on, kind of sponging it on and you can control the water and uh, like I could put a little water in the middle and can kind of control how much I'm putting on. And uh, so I just dip it in there. And I just want a little bit, see like I could do a little bit of water. And then I just go ahead and paint it on there. And you don't have to, you know, go up as far as you want. It's, because your paper's gonna cover the rest of it, so you don't need to waste your time painting all of it. 
And uh, you could ink and do this, but man, it really just takes a lot of ink and I, I think this one looks just as good, if not better. Okay. So that's what I'm doing is just kind of table so there now you got the middle so when you go like this it'll cover or, or you know the bottom won't look so bare and I think that'll work nicely okay and then what I do is to keep my paint from drying out so fast I just kind of put a you know, put a saran wrap or something but I had just a baggie so I just kind of set it over the top like that and you can put your paintbrush on top and then it won't dry out as fast so there's a little little tip and trick for you so I'm gonna lay this one to the side I'll let that one dry. And then I have this one. Ta-da! Magical. And it's, I did it a second ago, but I took the bag and just kind of waved it around and it's pretty much almost dry. So it does dry fast. Okay. And well, what I want to do is, let's go ahead and measure this or line this up a little better here. I'm just going like a millimeter around or so. Just, you know, that is totally up to you what size you want it. Uh -oh. There we go. There we go. So then you just measure it to your size and I do the same thing. You can either ink around it or do your little paint, but I'm just taking my sponge and just, or my sponge brush and just going like that, just to give it a little something, you know, it doesn't need to have gobs and gobs, just enough like you're inking it. But man, I'm really finding this just faster and smoother and I don't know. I'm liking it. So there's one, and then I'm just gonna let that dry for a second. And we'll go ahead and do this one. Okay. Just line it up. So I'm just gonna do the exact same thing on this side. Okay. What I used is Fabric Fix glue and it bonds fabric, lace, leather, trims, and more. And this stuff is amazing. And I just use that to glue on each side, just to glue them down. And remember, we're gonna be doing some sewing too, so that'll attach them. But glue at the bottom really good because I did not sew at the bottom down here for two reasons. It's too, it's thick and I don't wanna break my needle. It's pretty thick. And because I think when you sew it, it will give it, it'll make it so it won't open as well. Like I wanna get it so, you know, you got good room and you could get down there in it and put your uh, stuff further down in there. And if it was sewn, it would just be harder to open this up, you know, and you utilize it. So those are, those are my two reasons on that one. Okay, there we go. So just make sure to get some glue and then, uh, what I always do is if it pops up later, I like to take my uh, art glitter glue with a fine tip here and then just get into the crevices and uh, glue that down. Because it, I like to do that because this stuff, I love it. The And this is my uh, Fabric Fix and I just have it in a icing sugar bell container. And I'm sure you guys have seen that. I got it on uh, Amazon. It's a sweet sugar bell. Uh, just uh, for cakes and stuff, like an icing thing, and it comes with a cool metal tip. So it's just more precise. But the reason I don't like to get in there and do that is because when you squish it out, it squishes all out, and then you have, and you have to rub it to get the rest of it out. I don't know. I just don't like to use this on that kind of stuff. This stuff is great. I mean, it's you can just get it up in there and then just 
smoosh it right off and then it doesn't leave residue. Okay. All right, so now that we did this, got these glued on, we are going to get our fabric. And that's what I'm doing at the top is fabric. And I thought this was fun. I mean, how fun is that? You got the little, the cacti. Okay, and I have a lot of this material, but I'm gonna go ahead and speed this process up. And what I'm doing is just measuring it and getting it to cut it out and put it on here. And just lightly glue it because we're gonna be sewing it. see here. Got that glued on just lightly because we will be sewing around it. And if not, just make sure you get it glued on. And then I don't know if you saw what I did, but I uh, did the fabric fix and put it on. And uh, I would suggest maybe putting it on the paper if you're going to glue a lot and then take your finger and just smudge it around and then add the fabric because it will seep through if you get like big blobs everywhere and then stick the fabric on, you'll have, it'll seep through. So just, you can finger dab it like that, just to spread it around, okay? Now the next step is to do our cork. This is a wine cork closure. And I got a box full of corks at Goodwill. And you know, I grabbed them and went, I'm gonna do something with these, they're really cool. And this is what I've been doing with them is just doing closures to close the little junk journals and envelopes and stuff. And it works great. So I just have like a old, very old <laughs> serrated knife, still works. And what I do is just kind of do just as wide as I want. And you can see here, it's about that wide. You know, what, like a millimeter? Somewhere about that. So yeah, just, you know, not too thick, but not too thin, because these will, once you stick the brad through, it'll crack and break. So there's a, a fine line here. So what I do is find where I want it and just kind of score it. Just lightly do the line where I want. Okay, and then I just press a little bit harder each time I go around. and just work it around. And sometimes I do it too thin, you know, and sometimes I do it too thick. So, I mean, it's, you just see what you get. So save your wine cork, you know, your wine corks, and they're great to do this with. Yeah, I was just sitting there looking at it one day and went, oh man, that's a, that's, let's try that. So there we go. And then what I do is take my little sander here just a sanding block I got like at Home Depot or, you know, a hardware store. And you just sand it up just to make it like smooth on the side. Cause you don't want it all rough and stuff. So when you put the rope or string behind it, it'll, you know, little pieces will chunk off. So just kind of smooth it out. And even a nail filer would work too. Just like a, uh, you know, one of those things is like that. There's something just kind of smooth it. An emery board, is that what they're called? Yeah. Oop. So there we go. And you just want it just smooth enough so the rope can slide back behind it. Okay. So there we go. Oh my goodness. It makes a little mess right here. But fling it over that way. Towards the trash. Close enough. Okay. Now, I'll show you guys how to put them on. So I got some over here already done. And I just look at it, because the reason I want to do put these on before we sew all this together, because uh, we're going to need to, and I'll show you, but I want to make sure to, re, you know, to put a, piece of paper, put a piece of manila envelope to glue on the back, because 
this will be where people are sliding in their stuff and you don't want to get caught on the brads on the inside. And same here, you don't want the brad showing. So we're going to do it now and then we'll put the manila envelope on top to hide it. So that's why this step happens now. Okay. So what I do is take my little poker here, find the center as good as I can and pop it through a couple times just to kind of widen it. Okay. And then I just have brads, just regular brads I got at the uh, little market down the road. Actually, where I got the bag, too. It's by Mart. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have a by Mart where you are. But this is just like a perfect little place to get stuff. Just right down the road here. Because it's like 20 minutes to go into town. 15, 20 to go to like Walmart or something. And I'm like, nope. I'll go like five minutes, four minutes down the road. Let's get what I need. Okay. And then you just find out where you want to put it. And I'm just going to go in the middle here and do a little poke. Just make sure you're not poking the envelope. So just poke down here. And then I just stuck the brad through and I'm going to stick it through the hole here. Just like that. And voila. And just make sure when you put it on anything, don't have it like super tight because then you can't get your string around it. So you gotta kind of loosen it a little like that. Give it a little space in between. And then go ahead and open this. Like that. Because you wanna make sure you have yourself some room. Don't have it, you know, super tight against the, whatever you're gonna have it on. So. Yeah, you want to have room to get your string through there. Okay, and then what I do to extra secure it is just take some fabric fix and go underneath here and just give it an extra oomph of stickiness. And there we go. That's why I keep my little wet nap here. Get everything off my hands. Okay. So we got that going. And now, <clears throat> yeah. I should have done the bottom first. I just don't want to touch, just make sure you don't touch that wet glue onto here. So I just want to kind of line it up where I'm going to be. And I think right about there works for me. So just find the center. So we're just pretty much doing the same thing. And then lift this open like that and then just boop, pop it right through. There you go. So then you know where your holes are. And then I just make it a little bigger just to get this through. There we go. You could do the same here and just kind of make it a little bigger just to get it through if you need to. There we go. And do the same thing. Just make sure you're not super tight with it. And just open your ends there. And then I just take a little glue. Just to secure it. Okay. Gives me a peace of mind. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is take my two inch punch. Pretty sure it's two inches. Two inch. And take some manila envelope that we got. And there we go. And if you don't have a punch, just use, you just cut out a square or whatever you want to cut out. It's just to cover that. I want to cover that up and I'm going to glue it on there really good. Just like I said, so if some, you know, when you're putting papers in, you're not getting caught on that brad 
on the inside. So, so it doesn't even matter really what you put in there. It's not going to be seen. Okay, so just go ahead and take your glue. And I'll just make sure to get to the edges because I want it to, I want it to be glued really nice. So, I want nothing getting caught on that. And I just let it sit for a second and then come back and push it down again just to make sure. And just make sure nothing's really seeping out because when we do put it together, you don't want this to be glued shut. Bad idea. <laughs> that would defeat the whole purpose. Okay, so we're going to go like that. Let's make sure it's pressed down. All right. So now we went ahead and cut the fabric. We did that. We added the court closures. And then we covered the back here. And now we're going to do the triangle, the inside part. So that gives us time just to dry, too. And we're going to go ahead where our brad is here. And just, you know, just measure it to size. And then what I do is just kind of take my paintbrush and just inked around or, or take your ink and ink around and you don't even have to do that. So what I'm going to do is just line it up because this is going to be the end. So it's going to go like this and this will be the inside here. Oh, let's see. So I did B, I put B and B because each bag is different. So no matter what you're you, you couldn't, you, they're all different. So I just cut it to size to the sp specific bag and then put like a B on it and a B, just the letter, just whatever, just to match it up, to know that it goes to this one. Okay. And then you're just gonna line it up and we're just gonna glue it down. Like I said, we're just gonna have this folded down. We're gonna fold it down. And this is the inside fold here. And I am just going to line it up. I'm going to line it up at the top here and go ahead and sew it across. And do a back stitch at the beginning. And I'm just doing a zigzag. And I'm just going all the way across the top here. And I'm just using a universal needle. Nothing special, but on these thick parts, just, you know, try not to go too fast because you don't want to snap your needle. So then get to the end there, and then we could just go ahead and turn it like this. And then just do the same thing and just follow it down here, turn it, and then follow it back up there. Got that all sewn around, just like that. And I'll show you guys at the table a better view. But now I want you guys to just go around the whole, uh, here, I'm sure you guys see it. So I'm just gonna go down at the bottom here, around the fabric, and then all the way around the triangle. Just the same pretty much concept, but around the fabric. And we're keeping the flap out, so don't sew it down to anything. Just gonna keep it just like this, and we're gonna and do a zigzag, back stitch, and then just catch the fabric. And then we're just gonna keep going and go all the way around it. So I got the whole top sewn around here. And I just went around the bottom here and all the way around and just zigzagged it. And then now I'm gonna fold everything shut how it's supposed to be. And just make sure that inside here is dry and you don't want it wet because you don't want the pages sticking together. So just make sure your little uh, circle is all dry. That's covering the brad. And then just go ahead and fold this all shut like how it's gonna be. And I'm gonna start at the top up here and I'm still sticking with this zigzag stitch and I'm gonna start at the top right here and I'm gonna make sure to back stitch and then go forward back stitch go forward and then maybe one more back stitch 
you want to reinforce this areas, the areas at the top up here, because that's where it's going to be opened a lot, open and shut, open and shut. So you want to reinforce it up at the top uh, corners right there. And then I'm just going to go all the way up, down to the bottom here. And then same thing, I'm going to go back stitch, forward, and then back stitch, and then forward. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut the string because we're not going to sew along the bottom because I want that more open at the bottom. Because since we did the fold, it doesn't need to be sewn. And I'm going to go ahead and just do the same thing to the other side over here. Okay, so what we did is sewed all this. Then we sewed around the fabric just zigzagged and got that. And then I just folded it all where it's supposed to be. Did a back stitch a couple times through here just to reinforce it. This is the spot I was talking about. You wanna reinforce because it's constantly gonna be open shut, open shut, open shut like that. And you want this to be secure and really sewn down. So I did that about three or four times and then did a zigzag and did the same down here just just because just to make it reinforced and i did you know same on the other side and then we left this part not sewn because it does give us a lot more room to open up and if we sewed it it would just be like harder to get in there so now what i like to do is go ahead and take my art glitter glue and this is what i was talking about see how it's just kind of a little flappy I just take it and go like this and just get it in there a little and then do a little press down. Mm, that one's actually looking pretty good, but you can all, you know, get it, get your glue in there, press it down and then even up here, just kind of feel around, make sure it's all glued really good. And then that one I kind of caught a little bit, but not much. And yeah, just go around. This stuff really, really glues. So that's what I like about it. And then like, see how it squished out a little bit, but you just go like that and then it dries clear. So it doesn't sit there and you could see it, you know. Okay, so you could do that and get all your edges glued. And what, you can also take your, I'll see, I gotta get that part. Okay, and then you can even take your bulldog clips, you know if you want and just kind of just let it to get it securely glued for a second and this stuff it, it, it adheres pretty fast so just kind of wherever you think you need it just kind of go like that and just let it sit for a second okay and now what we're gonna do is our closure this is like a crochet thread Take it and go ahead and just tie at the top here. I'm going to do like a triple knot because I like to secure things. <laughs> and just take it and do a knot. Do another knot. Why not? Three to grow on here. Okay. So then you know it ain't going nowhere. Not gonna go nowhere. And then I just get in as close as I can with the snip. Just make sure you're not snipping this string. I almost did that before. You have to do it all over. So keep this one connected. Just snip the one. And then what you're gonna do is, I'm sure this is all good, but that's a good idea just to do that, okay? And then you just take your, however you're gonna wanna do it. And this is why we made these loose enough to get underneath. So I'm just gonna do just a figure eight. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a long cut on it. Cause you'll see why I'm gonna take my beads. If you're the longer the string, the better. You can always cut it. And these are just little wooden beads. 
that are just fun just to have on the dangle end here. And three, three is a good number. Three is always a good number. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna get my big needle out. And I will show you guys how I anchor them. It's pretty simple. Okay, so you just go with your bead, get it where you want it. And I don't want these hanging lower because if they're gonna sit up on a desk or something like this, you wanna keep them above here so they can set nicely and not sit there with the bee getting in the way and being like, oh my goodness, that is annoying. So I just make sure to go ahead and get them just up above. So after you go like this, you're gonna go back through the hole and this just anchors it anchors the bead in and then it gives you like it gives a see the cord just wraps around it like that and then when you put the next one in it will secure that one in and then we're going to do the same to the bottom here and then i'll tie a knot so i'm just kind of getting it about there anchor the bottom one just go wrap around it like that. And then that anchors it in. And then you're gonna take your needle, go through your piece of rope or piece of thread that you anchored like that. And then you could do it again just to secure it. And then to tie a knot, I just slip through here like that. And then you got your loop and go through your loop like that, and then it ties a knot. So there you go. And if you don't know if you think you tied the knot, just do it again. I mean, it never hurts to do a couple knots. And then you just go through your loop, just through the loop, and tie your knot. There you go, it ain't going nowhere. And if you really, really wanna secure it, you could take a little dab of glue, if you, know, if you think you need to, and just, uh, Put a little dab of glue like right there and then it's not going nowhere not gonna go nowhere okay and then i'm just cutting my rope or my string or my thread or whatever you're using and there we go and now we just put on our little embellishments that you want or you know whatever you want to do you can even and I, I like that I kept this kind of plain too. So uh, when she gets them she can decorate it and put stickers and do what she wants but i kind of like the idea of and I debated this, but I think it's fun to have a little, so I'm gonna do these on each one for her, but uh, it's fun to have just a little uh, thingy that you can write on, you know? Just like a little, and then you can go, oh, what's in it? Or, you know, just have a little organization. So I thought that would be fun. So yeah, so you could stick whatever you want on the front of it and whatever you want on the inside of it. And these just make great uh, ephemera holders too. I mean, you cannot get wrong. Let's go ahead and use the glitter glue. I like the glitter glue. I mean, I like all of them, but it's funny. I use different things or different things and just grabbing glues all over the place. And then I got the glue sticks, you know, Throw those in the mix. Okay. And then I'm just sticking it right down here. I figure that's a good spot out of the way and you can see it. Know what's in your little folder. And there we go. So that's how you make a little paper bag envelope pouch is what I'm calling it. And it's made out of a paper bag and it is an envelope pouch. So it just opens up. And you could close it however you want. You don't have to do a figure eight, but there we go. And then I could also reinforce this, if you can see that. So just make sure you're going around and getting all the little spots that you didn't sew. And you know, you're like, oh man, I need to glue that down because you don't want it opening up. Get, just get all those little spots. So just double check everything. And you just got yourself a little fun little pocket to put things in. So yeah. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it inspirational and you're getting out your paper bags and looking at them differently. And uh, yeah, if you could, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment and share and keep on crafting guys.